I got like no one here actually knows exactly what I don't what even we're know what we're doing. <laughs> okay, so I got some more eBay decks. They claim they're tournament ready. They're in there. So we decided we're gonna do a tournament Wait, with that? our first, tournament. First there. Okay, well, I brought my friends here to do a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. And with eBay decks, they claim we're tournament ready. These cost varying amounts, and they're made of varying different archetypes. And now we're gonna open them and uh, and pick. They, they said they're tournament ready, so we're gonna have a tournament. So open them and pick. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't. I'm trying to. Like, I want a way to not like see what's. For. Okay. All right. all right. Cool. That's face down. Right, we'll just get yeah, this. Yeah. All right. This is a one deck. All right, please don't see. Look at that beautiful oh. packaging. Oh. Oh. oh, oh okay. Well, well so there's two decks. This is two decks. Wow. Yeah. Yep. And they're, all right. they're back well, to back. I've seen okay. them now. Mm. <laughs> what, what you think they are? Dark all right. magician and blue eyes. Shit and I shit. Like it. <laughs> all right. Well, anyways, um, and then this is the the third deck. Fourth. Fourth deck. There looks like the third they're deck. Not even decks. They're just. Ugh. Yeah. So how do we want to pick these? So I want the deck that's on the other side of this one. We're gonna like find a way to decide who gets to pick. Right. We need a more random way. <laughs> rock paper scissors. Group rock paper. Wait, how does that help? You know, people like do that. There's on only TV three people. of them though, right? So like, how does that work? I mean, it might work oh, man, if everyone just. Well, oh, you know what? Do I have a die? Yeah. Where's a die? Uh, uh, okay. We are the most organized group of people. Yeah, I'll go grab one. Entertain the people. Entertain. The people. All right. I will now sing you the song about what's happening. No, no. Release me. What? You got no strings on me. What? What? You got no strings. I thought you were gonna make me do the thriller dance for a second. Oh, here we go. No. You got no strings on me. Why do I come here? All right, I'm back. Everybody gets to die. Whoever rolls highest gets to pick first. If there's a tie, then. That's one of those. That's the uh, I don't have the Osama Judgment one. Oh, this is Ring Destruction. All, All right. right. Let's go. I rolled a six. Wow. Uh, four. All right. Six first. Oh, he, we might four. tie. Four. No. Four. four. We tie. Three. There you go. Yeah, All right, Trail, you and I. Let's do it, baby. For a second. Six. Let's go. I don't win die rolls. Everybody knows in Yu Gi Oh! Trail doesn't win die rolls. Five, exactly. All right. So, Paul gets All right. So, we're going to reveal what they are then, I guess. So, that would picking make sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. This is a. Ultra Athlete deck. Anyway, okay. okay. This is a Tenny deck. This is a Starry Night deck. Oh yeah, here, I'll, I'll turn them upside down. Okay. Ultra Athletes. Tenny. Tenny. Starry, Starry Night. Night and Armed Dragon. Okay. Okay. Packaged right. together. So Paul, All right, so I get to what pick say first. you on the first pick? I know what my favorite deck is. What's going in the first is. round? I pick Armed Dragon because I've played that once before. So yeah, I pick, I <laughs> yeah. You I didn't had, want I had a feeling you'd pick Arm Dragon. Wow, rude. I'm okay with it. So I get second pick, and I will choose for the second pick of the first round, Ultra Athletes. Okay, yeah. So I get I get Arm I get I get this. There's okay. yeah. So okay. Gets next pick. All right, so I get third pick, and with the third pick going to the uh, Portland Trailblazers, uh, I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick Tenny. I'm going to pick Tenny. <laughs> Jokes on you. I got what I wanted. Oh, okay, so you Perry just, wanted Star Knight. I wanted, I, I wanted you wait, but Alec got smart. Larry, I have a question. Has anyone ever played like a Starry Night deck in the history I, of Yu-Gi-Oh? I, I tried to on Mass. Besides it. you. What does that mean? <laughs> Not you. I mean, Yo, wait. Now think about personal? it. Someone wrecked me in Duel Links with a Starry Night deck oh. out of nowhere. I was oh. playing Odd That's Eyes kind of crazy. and oh, a Dark wow. Dragon, and they wrecked yeah, me. Oh, they're in Duel Links? Yes. All, all right, so we're gonna sleeve these up, and we're gonna have a tournament, and uh, it'll be fun. Yeah, let's do it. Sweet. Oh, yeah. By the way, like and comment and subscribe, and don't do this at home. Or do. Please it's up do. To you. Don't, yeah. don't be as chaotic as we are. If you have some money, I mean. Don't buy the shit. Buy it. It's worth it. <laughs> tournament <laughs> ready, and you guys will see in a moment. Let's I will go. say yeah. this is the right. best tournament ready thing. Yeah, these are actually look this like actually they're okay. Goes with. The Mine's side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got Armed Dragon. Luckily, I got to pick it first. I've actually played this deck before, and I was surprised that they actually had the secret rare cards in them. So I've got three Pile Armed Dragons, three Armed Dragon, the Armored Dragon. This is one I don't think I've actually played with. And I got three of it. Um, Armed Dragon Thunder level three. So this is just a line of them. The three is going to the fives, the five is going to the sevens, and then the sevens going to the tens. They gave me literally three of each, so it might be a little bricky. We'll see. I also get the old ones. Arm Dragon level threes, and fives, and seven, and ten. These old ones are a little harder to use. Arm Dragon level ten white. This one's weird. It searches a card called White Veil. We'll see if that comes up. Uh, oh, there's three of them. Okay. Um, triple Arm Dragon Flash. That's cool. I can summon it from the deck. And just Arm Dragon support cards. This is literally a pure, just armed... 
Okay. Yeah, cool. So, uh, this isn't an Armed Dragon card. It's just in here. But anyways, the Armed Dragon deck is really cool. I'm looking forward to using it. Uh, wish me luck. All right, guys, so I got a UA deck. That's the Ultra Athletes or Ultimate Athletes. Not 100% sure what they're called, but I haven't played this deck in years, and uh, we'll just have a look at it. So the athletes are all about summoning themselves from hand by returning ones on field to the hand. And then they have the kind of unique effects, like Slugger. This guy turns off your monster's effect, your opponent's monster's effects when he's attacking. Ace is actually a negate. All you gotta do is pitch a card from your hand. Midfielder, this guy helps you just get more of your uh, your athletes. Goalkeeper actually protects your other athletes. Rebounder lets you summon more athletes from the uh, hand or graveyard, but he has to be summoned during your opponent's turn. Dunker is similar to uh, Slugger. He's just all about just dealing damage. I think when he when he does de damage, he actually uh, pops a card in the field. Blockbacker, I don't even remember what Blockbacker does. Oh yeah, he can negate monster effects by changing their battle positions. Playmaker's weird. He makes your other guy stronger. I guess that's why he's a playmaker. Then UA Player Manager, this card's crazy. When you summon your other UA, this guy can then destroy cards or negate card effects. And last but not least is Librero Spiker, who once he helps you get your, uh, your UA from the deck. So he's really useful, and he's the only other level four one, so he's easy to get on the field. Then we have our support cards, the stadium, the power jersey, turnover tactics to quick play, UA signing deal, UA locker room, lots of solid support, and hyper stadium. I didn't really go into their effects, I, I still have to read through all these again, but uh, just know we're summoning a lot of athletes and we're just gonna beat our opponents down. Also, I got a Qu Quasha Dog Chaos. I don't... Do I have to run this? I'm not disappointed because this is what I would have picked anyway because I'm somewhat familiar with how they play and the lore behind the cards because that's also important. Um, I think pretty much it's three of everything which is like, I guess, standard. Um, this is actually very, very interesting because they also gave me this. So if I can do one of these with this, I may can shut somebody up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be spicy. For some reason, it gave me a magical dimension. I don't know why. One, because it's this ugly gold rare. Two, because I have to control a spellcaster and everything in here is either a dragon or a fairy. So, we're just gonna flick it away. And I think I'm ready. I just gotta sleeve these things up. All right, it's your boy Trail here. So uh, you guys, I picked Tingy, um, the usual. <clears throat> Funny story, they did not include these in the deck. And so I actually had to go find some in our boat. Thankfully we had them, because how do you play a deck without a shooter? Paul said these are tournament ready. I'm not sure what tournament he has me going to, but they obviously either have a lot of faith in me or know that I'm gonna crash and burn because this is horror bad. But, it is 40 cards. We can come with a little extra deck. <clears throat> I'm going to go lose in style. I'm out. All right, so first round matchup. It is me and the Lek. How you doing? I'm good. Good to be here today. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I have my Ultra Athletes versus Larry's something. S Starry Nights. All right, let's do it. Activate Starry Night Sky. Okay. So a field cell says during my main phase, I can form an extra normal summon of a Starry Mine. Starry Night Monster or a level seven dragon monster. And during my turn, if I if I face up level seven dragon I control returns to the hand, I can draw a card. Why is that only during my turn? Ugh. Because it's fair and balanced. So next, I will no, I will activate Starry Night Balefire. I can add one Starry Night Monster or one level seven dragon monster from my deck to my hand. And if you if I control no monsters and you control only a dark monster, I can special summon it. But well, that's not happening. Nope. I will add Starry Knight Rael. Okay. Next, I will normal summon Starry Knight Rael and activate her effect. When this card is normal summon, I can add one Starry Knight Spoiler Trap from my deck to my hand. Show them to me. As tournament ready as these decks are, there are no hand traps. I will add Starry Knight Ceremony. All right. This is a continuous spell that does a lot. Cool. It says during the, your, my main phase, I can reveal one Light Fairy Monster in my hand, and if I do, add one. The level seven dragon monster from my deck to my hand and place the reveal card at the bottom. So, but you won't be using that. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna activate 
Starry Night Ceremony. And then I'm going to reveal the yeah, Flamel. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add Starry Night Starry Dragon. Put it at the bottom. And for my last play, I will activate Ties of the Brethren. I'll pay 2,000. Targeting Starry Night Rael. Yeah. Okay. So you will be special summoning what? T uh, target one level four lower monster I control for the rest of the turn. I can't special summon. I'm supposed to summon two monsters from my deck with the same type, attribute, and level. Got it. So another light level four fairy. That, that is not named Rael. I'll special summon Orbital and Barrier Statue of Heavens. What? That's in there? Yes, it was. What in the absolute, y'all, barrier statues? This is a level four light fairy. Come on, man. That completely changes how I was gonna play my turn now. Good. Um, next, I will activate the effect of Starry Night Orbital. I will target, yeah, one light monster I control. I'll target Rael. Tribute it, and then send what Starry Night spell or trap directly from my deck. I will set Starry Night Arrival, and I'll pass. All right, let's draw for turn. Going to standby phase. Mm -hmm. Moving to main phase. Yes. All right. I'm underneath the barrier statue, guys. You know what that means. My deck doesn't really work. So, I will normal summon my UA and Libero, Libero Spiker. Mm -hmm. And, um,. It doesn't do, isn't doing anything for right now. I'll move to battle, and it's 1,800. Before we enter battle, in the main phase, I'm going to activate Starry Night Arrival. I'm going to use the first effect to target one level seven monster, uh, dragon, light dragon in my hand. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to special, I'm going to use second one, special summon one level seven light dragon from my hand. Of course you are. I'm going to special summon Starry Night, Starry Dragon. What does it do? I'm gonna use this effect though. It says, whenever it's normal special summon from the hand to target one card in the field, destroy it. Of course it does. I'm gonna target your UA Spiker to destroy it. Yeah, I end my turn. At the end phase, I'm gonna activate the effect of Starry Night, Starry Night Orbital, tributing herself to set one spell or trap. May I go, sir? Yeah, it's your game. I will draw for turn. Gonna use the effect of Starry Night Rail. All right. To banish. Special summon, Starry Night Orbital. Gonna use Starry Night Orbital's effect. Tribute that? Tri hmm? No, tribute the orbital, of course. To set one face down, I'll set Starry Night Bellfire. And I'll just activate Starry Night Bellfire. Yeah, one Starry Night Monster or a level seven dragon. I'm just gonna get a Starry Night Monster. Does your deck even run level seven dragons that aren't Starry Night Monsters? Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna add Starry Night Flamel. I'm gonna normal summon Starry Night for male. And then I'll move towards battle. All right. Uh, 15. I'll take 1,500. Then 25. And I'll take 2,500. I'm at 4,000. Main phase two. I'm going to activate the effect of Starry Night Arrival. Targeting Starry Night Dragon. Return to hand. And then that'll trigger my uh, Starry Night Sky and I'll draw a card. Yes. Oh my Jesus Christ. And oh. It can't be worse than mine. Go ahead. All right, let's draw for time. I will set one card phase down, and I'll move to end phase. In the main phase, I will activate the fixed Star Knight arrival. Yeah. Special summon Star Knight Dragon, and its effect to target your face down and destroy it. My penalty box. All right, still in phase. My turn? Yeah. Drawing for turn? Okay, yeah, that's enough. Move towards battle. Yes. 15? 15. Mm -hmm. 25, starting Exactly right enough for game. I'm gonna normal summon my, U my UA, the Barrow Spiker. Mm -hmm. so, that's not football. Nope, that is volleyball. So what's cool about Spiker is during either play, no, it's during your main phase, I can shuffle a level five or higher UA from my hand into the deck and special summon a different one from the deck. Mm -hmm. Then I will set one card phase down. Mm -hmm. And I'll end my turn. I will draw for turn. I will start by, think that all your stuff is Earth. I'll activate Starry Night Sky. And I will respond with my Spiker's effect. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's return my UA Blockbacker to hand. And I'll special summon my UA Perfect Ace. 
Mm-hmm. And the spikers return to my hand. So Ace does have a negation of the scar card. I will activate Star and Night Ceremony. What's that one do? Uh, main phase, reveal one light fairy in my hand, add a level seven dragon from deck to hand, then place the revealed card on top. All right. On bottom, I'm sorry. Gotcha. I will normal summon Star Knight Orbital. Orbital. That's only, that's only got 400 attack. I'm gonna activate the effect. Tributing it for cost. All right. Wait. No, the, the, the target is the... It does not tribute for cost. No. That's very fit target itself. Let's use, because that's the one that you set one from that, correct? Yes. I'll go ahead and use Perfect Ace's effect. I'll discard my goalkeeper to negate and destroy your orbital. I will activate Starry Knight Bellfire. Add one Starry Knight monster, one level seven monster from Dex of Hand. And, I, and if I control none, which the other part doesn't matter because you're not playing dark. You can add both or is it or? It's or. Oh, okay. So far, my perfect ace is pitching a shout-out. Ace of the diamond. I will get, I will get a steal. And because of Starry Night Sky, I will normal summon a steal. Give you an additional normal summon? Yes. Mm. You read it first, game. I know, I forgot. I was too busy being barrier locked. Now we'll activate the effect of a steal. Target one level one light monster, tribute it. And then special summon one level seven dragon monster from my hand. Very upsetting. I will special summon Starry Knight, Starry Dragon. And using its effect on summon, I will target your ace to destroy it. My ace is destroyed. Next, I will move towards battle. All right. 25. I'll take 25. Main phase two. Set one card. Hmm, I should have did this first. Oh, well. I'll go ahead and activate the effect of Bastille. I should have did this before. Um, to target, he has he gets a thousand extra attack until the end of your turn. So it'll be thirty five hundred. Yes. All right. And go ahead. All right, draw for turn. Oh, what does this even do? You don't know which card. Oh, it's, a, it's a newer card. So I'll activate my UA Hyper Stadium. When it's activated, I can add a UA FA or a Hyper Stadium card to my hand. Are you doing it? Yes. Is that a new stadium? Yeah, this is, this is the new stadium. This is Hyper okay. Stadium. I, on response, I will, no, it won't. Go ahead. All right, I'll add my UA Stadium to hand. On that one, I think I'm going to activate Star Knight Arrival. Yes. Mm. Targeting Star Knight Dragon to return to my hand. All right. Keep going. Do you get the draw? No, it's only, that, that part's only on my turn. So weird. Yeah, it says during your turn to face up. Is return to the hand, draw one card. That is a strange card. Okay, so let's see. I'll use the second effect of my Hyper Stadium. I can reveal a field spell in hand, my UA Stadium. No, you didn't have to. I saw that you got it. But I'm revealing it anyway. And then pay a thousand life points. Then I can normal summon a UA or FA monster, a UA or FA in addition to my normal summon I set this turn. Mm -hmm. So minus a thousand. I have no idea why I'm paying life points. Mm -hmm. Doesn't feel good, does not feel good. Then I will play my UA Stadium. On, yeah, on activation, uh, that will trigger my Starry Night Ceremony. The second effect. What's the second effect? So if your opponent activates the cards for effect, I can special summon one level seven dragon monster from my hand. Ah, okay. I'll special summon Starry Night Starry's Dragon. Then effect on summon, I will target UA Stadium to destroy it. Goodbye, my stadium. Well, that leaves me with nothing to do. I'll move to end phase. End phase. End turn. I will draw for turn. Ooh. Um, stand by main phase? Yes. Uh, in main phase, I'm gonna activate the effect of Starry Night Arrival to return Starry Dragon to the hand. Okay. That will trigger Starry Night Sky will be one. Starry Night Orbital will be chain link two because of, um, Level seven dragon I control return to the hand while this card was in my graveyard, I okay. can special summon it. Got it. I didn't know I could do that. So special summon the effect to draw. Why? At least you're getting cards. I haven't I ever like gotten a card ever. Already. Activate the effect of orbital. Attributing itself to set Star Knight Bellfire. Alright. 
And with your permission, I will just go ahead and activate Starry Night Bellfire. Sure. It will let me get a search. And it will search Starry Night Rael. And one more. And I will normal summon Starry Night Rael. And activate the effect to search a spell or trap. Go for it. I'll get Starry Night Blast. So I should have waited and did all this after I attacked. But oh well. Moving towards battle. Yes. 18. I'll take 1800. Main phase two. Mm -hmm. Set one. Set two. Go ahead. All right. Let's draw for time. I will normal summon my UA mid. So my midfield doesn't really do anything unless I have other UA on the field. So oh, no. I'm trying to decide. I'm thinking right now we're ahead. So yeah, I'm going to activate Starry Night Arrival. Okay. Special summoning Starry Night, Starry Dragon. And on summon, I will target your uh, mid feudal to destroy it. All right. And uh, I'll move to end phase. End phase. End turn. I will draw for turn. Moving towards battle. Mm -hmm. Why are you staring directly into the camera? So they see my pain. 18. 1800. 25. That's game. All right, guys. That <laughs> wraps up our Starry Night versus UA game. You know, I was worried that I'd have to do a lot of thinking, but it turns out I really didn't have to. You had to do more thinking during this, the second game. Yeah, but, well, you know, one versus zero. It's mo it difference. is more. It's more, but not a huge difference. Okay. Cool. So, mm -hmm. second round, um, my armed dragons versus your, I guess it's Tinyi? Uh, yeah, pretty right. much Tinyi. Okay. Um, you guys, I was not aware that the belt was on the line, but uh, it is, so I had to go ahead and, you know. Also, disclaimer, I don't know what all my cards do, so if there's a misplay, I promise I'm not cheating, but you'll say that I am. I'm not cheating on purpose. That's there you all go. I can tell you there guys. There you go. Not on purpose, but if it happens, you know. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do. You ready for this? Wait. I'm ready. No, yeah, I can't do that cheating. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to read the card. Gonna I'm going to activate the shooter. Team Spirit of a Shooter, pretty much by control, no, uh, control, no effect modes, I expect something from the hand. Yeah, all too familiar with the Tinnies. Okay. Oh, uh, so bad. I'm gonna link it off. It's pretty nice to be able to go in your extra deck, eh? It's not, it's not as nice as you think it is. I'm actually, I gotta make a really bad play to try to even make a play at all. Monk of the Tinny. Mm. With a thousand attack and no effect. He has a non effect. Oh, I did this wrong. I wonder. I did it wrong. I did, I, it's okay. <laughs> We're already making bad plays here. To modern Yu Gi Oh! Whenever there's a problem, you just pick up your extra deck and <laughs> look for the solution in there. Basically. I don't get such privileges. Okay, I got some. I know, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to special um, Team Spirit at Horror. Control No Effect Mouse, special Summit from the hand. Um, they were going to Link 2. That'd be dope. I know. I trust it's bad, so I'm making, I'm making whatever play I can try. Um, to bring out Shaman of the Team, which takes two Worm Monsters. And basically, uh, you can discard a card, target one worm in your graveyard, special summon it. Also, for the rest of the turn, you can activate the effects of monster special summon from the extra deck, except for team use. Got uh, it. So, I'm then going to use this effect to discard the uh, Mari Mari to target. Make sure that my. Uh, yes, to target. So, you're a Mari Mari, Mari guy. See, some people say Mare Mare. I'm a Mari Mari. You're a Mari Mari. Okay. Uh, to to special summon okay. the monk of the team. Okay. That good so far? That's good so far. It's so bad. I'm going to use my draw on Lockford. Uh, I, sure, <laughs> I haven't added anything yet. Uh, and then, because it's really bad, when I activate White Elephant's uh, Gift, send one face of Bunny oh. Fake Monster Control to the graveyard to draw two cards. Anything in response? No. Okay, one, two, cry. Um, that was horrible, actually. I mean, <laughs> that was really bad. Opening turns. Um, so then we're, then we're going to I have nothing, really. We're going to, uh, mm -hmm. I cry, I cry. We're gonna set a card and we're gonna pass our turn. All right, I'm gonna draw. I guess I should have went for the other play. That was enough. Oh well. Uh, okay, I'll start by activating mm -hmm. Armed Dragon Lightning. What's that do? It's a continuous spell. If an Armed Dragon I control would be destroyed by a card effect, I could send this to the grave instead. Um, I can target an Armed Dragon, give it attack equal to its level times 100, and. There's either alternative effect I can use is add an armed dragon monster with an equal or lower level than it from my graveyard to my hand. Okay. Okay, so it's like a one or the other thing. Okay. I'm gonna activate my armed dragon flash. Quick play spell lets me summon a level three armed dragon monster from my deck. The free beast. Yep. Oh, yeah. Sorry. And thank goodness they actually gave me the new one. The armed dragon thunder level three. Okay. Let's remember how this goes. So. 
And send a monster from a hand to the grave, and send this to the grave, and send a level 5 Royal Home Dragon. And if it gets sent to the grave to activate a Dragon Monster's effect. Alright, I'm going to activate level 3's effect by discarding Arm Dragon Thunder level 5. Okay, it triggers itself too? Or? Um, it just discards for cost, and then it'll send itself to grave as part of the effect, I think. And summon. Uh, yes, uh, that, that's fine, that's fine. So away he goes, and I get a level 5 or lower. Armed Dragon Thunder level 5 to the field. Indeed. And since I sent an Armed Dragon Thunder level 5, I can use its effect to add a level 5 or higher Wind Dragon from my deck to my hand. Oh wow, okay. So I think they're supposed to allow me to just go up the ladder. Does it say Wind Dragon on that? Wind, wind yeah, Dragon. Yeah, level 5 or higher Wind Dragon. Okay. Yeah. Dang it. There was one that I just wanted to get out of my hand. Okay, I'll search for Arm Dragon Thunder level 7 to my hand. Yes. Okay. Um, so I'll do it again. I'll activate his effect and mm -hmm. send Thunder level 7 and then send itself. Okay. So that's and how get it works. a okay. 7. Yeah, they basically just send a bunch of the monsters and like, as long as you're sending the other Arm Dragon ones, you get to recoup your advantage because if you don't, wow. then it really sucks. Okay, so that's why I sent. Okay, I sent that so I can summon Arm Dragon Thunder, level seven. And well. Now maybe level seven's effect. When it was sent to activate a dragon, I can add an Arm Dragon card. He says maybe from deck to uh, hand. We have nothing. He says maybe. I mean, uh, what does this do? Huh? What's this do? Okay, I'm gonna get. Oh my gosh! Really? really? <laughs> oh my god, it's crazy. That right, is crazy. This will be the final one. I'll get a level three to my hand. You want back in, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, this will be the final, like, gotcha. the final okay. cycle. Understood. Okay. Activate this. Sure. Send level three, and send it, and get the big guy. Arm Dragon Thunder level ten. And I'll get a draw because level three was sent for a dragon's effect, and that will actually be all I'm going to be doing. All right, let's read them. What's he do? He was special summoned by an armed dragon. So his name becomes Arm Dragon level 10. Control of him can't switch. He can't be destroyed by battle. Once per your turn, I can send a card from my hand of the grave to target one card on the field and destroy it and give him 1,000 attack. And if he gets to 10,000 attack, then once per turn, I can destroy all other cards in the field. So we'll see if that happens. Okay. I need a miracle here. So, what's your so it has every effect except for the last one, basically? Except for the last one right now. Alrighty. Yay. All right, I'm gonna use my continuous spell, Arm Dragon Lightning. I target an Arm Dragon and add one with an equal or lower level for my graveyard to my hand. Okay. So I'll target him. It's crazy. And I'm gonna get this is, level three. Oh, literally, I'm gonna hand you the belt. This yeah, is this, this one's it's this Jesus. is it, at least this deck's like it does its thing. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna enter battle phase. I got White Elephant's gift. All right. And we're gonna attack Shaman of the Tenyi. I'll take fourteen. Yeah. All right, your move. Draw. I just need to. Uh, ride this Arm Dragon Thunder to victory. Four in hand, right? Four in hand. Do it all over again next turn. I'm gonna uh, start off by activating Supernatural Danger Zone. Uh, basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it. It's a continuous spell. If a non-effect monster is best summoned face up except during the damage step, I can target one card of my opponent controls and destroy it. If ah, this, okay. If this card is owned as fell in trap zone is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, I can spell summon one non effect monster from my hand, deck, or graveyard. So. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Yes, so activate anything in response? No. All right, uh, then I'm going to, uh, you're going to activate the Spirit uh, of Horror. Team Spirit of Horror. So what's the, it just summons yeah, itself? Yeah, it just summons itself. Yeah, I don't, I don't have anything. And then we're going to uh, normal summon. Mystery Shell Dragon, and then okay, yeah, that's still yeah. good so far. That's all good. Um, then we're gonna activate uh, the Shooter's Effect. I can banish it from the graveyard, hand or graveyard, as long as I control a non-effect monster to uh, target one monster, only card in the field, and bounce it back to the hand. Um, we're gonna yeah. uh, target that one. All right. Well, I'm gonna change its effect. I can send a card from my hand to the grave and target a card in the field. Right, what I want to send is I know what the hell it's doing. I'll send Arm Dragon level five and target. Uh, I'll target your. Face down card. You know what that thing is. <laughs> I was like, oh man, it's just like some little bait, but it sounds like it's something he can change. Definitely think. I know, right? That doesn't really matter. Okay, we'll let it go. Oh, okay. It's yeah, that. So what, what, what's, what's this even do? Oh, uh, well, if you activate a spell, you know, if you, I can negate it, but it doesn't destroy, it just negates. But also, if you pop it, I get the uh, special aid non effect monster from the extra deck. Oh, okay. Well, so yeah, that's, all yeah, right. So now this is bounced. Bounce back, and then yeah, uh, that'll. Okay. So that activates, and then my level five activates. 
into a scent to activate. Oh yeah, so yeah, so I'm channeling one, you're channeling two actually. So I can add a level five or higher win from deck to hand next to level five. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just I don't know what that does. I'm getting this thing. Pile armed dragon. I mean like do this all over again next turn. I I know that that card's good. Oh my god. You guys good cards in deck. Let me read him while you Um Jeff, this uh we'll get I'm gonna special out uh Berserker of the Tengi with oh, three, goodness, three okay. K attack. Yeah. I know. Right? <laughs> like, yeah. Cool scary. Uh, I spell some of the nutty fake monsters. I get the popper card as well, so we're gonna blow that up. Well, bye. Okay. Wish it could protect itself. By sending itself. Yes. Yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, send itself. Um. And it can come back. Hey. We're gonna banish it hard and grave to add the uh, Basuda back to hand. Oh, okay. That good. Yeah. Okay. We're going to then. Hang on, let's make sure that's all we're doing. You're about to OTK me or something. I wish. Uh. We're gonna link four. Oh goodness, okay. Because it just takes two. I had to read it. Two one also ten spear. Sahasrafaha. Sahasrafaha. Yeah. Um, while you control the face of non effect monster, a uh, monster opponent control cannot target effect monsters for attacks or uh, target effect monsters and field with card effects. Quick effect, you can target one effect monster opponent controls and spend some of one ten spirit token. Worm light level four. Level four is crazy. Uh, this token attack becomes that target monster's original attack. So then we're going to attempt to move towards battle. Yeah. Uh, 2,000 attack and then 3,000 attack if it all goes through. Taking a clean 5k. All right, and then I'm going to attempt to move to end phase and turn. I he drew starts, He starts turn with a handful of cards, you guys. Hey, you bounce one to me, so <laughs> I mean, it's, it's you, something. I had to. If it dies, it, will, it wasn't going to die. And then they search themselves. It's crazy. Normal summon. My armed dragon thunder level 3. Here we go again. Yeah. Here we go. Or at least we, here we try. Or whatever. You're gonna. It's gonna happen. Okay. No it's way. Kind of just. Yeah. No it's way. just happening. Yeah. We're just back. And I'll activate level three's effect. I'm gonna discard. Yeah. Five cards or six. I have five in hand. So you started. So you started the turn with six. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So yeah, I drew into six. Okay. Wow. I discard. I'm discard him. Arm dragon level ten white. All right. So this will get sent. Yeah. I'm just gonna read the. It's gonna to get to summon a level five. Does white have a? Uh, okay, so white's the only one that doesn't have a grave effect when it's in. Thank yeah. You. Okay. Yay. That's okay. Oh, it is. I wish it could do a little good. more, but. Pretty darn good. Okay, I'm gonna get arm dragon level five. True. Sure. There's no problem. I'm out of level fives. My hand is four seal. Five, four, four, four cards oh, now. You yeah. are amazing. Okay. Yeah, four cards mean? in my hand. Four cards in hand. What am I supposed to do against all that? Okay, I'm gonna. I'll activate level five's effect. I can send a monster from hand to grave. Let me go ahead and send it, and I can target. Or I think target a monster with less attack than what I said. Um, crossing, okay, yeah, yeah, that is fine. And so he attacks twenty four. So we'll special this, and then just activate the blow this up. We're gonna okay. stop it now. But, yeah, that's not once per turn, Paul. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't, you know what's that? I didn't realize that. <laughs> that's why I just popped that. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> oh my god. Darn, I could have. Read the cards, people. My predicaments could have been over. Yeah, because that's so sad. Like, I, guy these old over. cards, you just don't think of. Yeah. yeah. That's why I read it. Oh, gosh. Read your cards, people, because that would have changed the duel completely. All right. I'm going to have to use. I'll use Pile Armed Dragon. So I can send a one other Wind Dragon or level 7 or higher dragon from my hand of the grave. Okay. Summon this from my hand. Uh, so I'll send this guy. It's okay. level 10. Summon him. All right. And he's huge. Yeah. And uh, I can send an Armed Dragon from hand or deck to grave. Then target a card, a monster you control. I can't target him, I guess. And or oh, just target a monster I control, like you as in me. Okay. Control and it gains attack equal to the level of the monster sent times three hundred. And at the end of this turn, I can only attack one monster. So I will activate its effect. Okay. By sending one. Oh, sent from deck. Yeah. I, I missed it. Okay, now you yeah, do. A little, little nuts. Yeah, a little nuts is crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to kind of like get a better idea of how some of these. That card's so pretty. Yeah, it's cool. Um, what? So what is this something? Oh, I just gotta send yeah. one so I can gain attack. How, how much times. is it times? The level times three hundred. Times three. Yeah, times so. three. All right, I'm sending. You sent something you don't want to draw, maybe. Something I don't know. I want to draw. There's plenty of those. I've sent That's most cool. of them already. Like uh, the white one. Oh yeah. Which is is a little bit a little harder to use. It's too hard. Drew him, didn't you? Okay, I'm sending this. Arm Dragon level seven. So he gained seven. He gained so he's 21? gonna gain twenty one hundred. So I'll put 49? him in forty nine. Forty nine. And Arm Dragon level seven's effect activates. It's sent to the grave to activate a dragon monster's effect. I can add an Arm Dragon card from my deck to my hand. So I only attack the token. No, you can only attack and target the token. And target the token. Yes. Okay, I gotta kill them both if I can. If I'm to <laughs> get out of this predicament. Okay. So this lets me add an Arm Dragon card from deck to hand. 
What do I want to get from Deck Tamer? Yeah, that can work. That can work. Can we like, whoa, 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 whoa. Baby, come Oh, wow. I and mean, this can't even be targeted anyway. <sighs> okay, it's gonna be, I know what I want to search. I'm searching my white. I realize I kind of screwed myself though a little bit. You'll see. It'll all work out, I okay? I got you, I got you. It'll all work out. About to, work about out. to my field, I see. I'm gonna try. <laughs> oh, whatever. All right, we're gonna summon Arm Dragon level 10 by banishing armed dragon monsters from field or grave whose total levels equal 10. Which is easy for you. They're all there. So we'll just, it'll just be him, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, this will be my banished. Is right. This, yeah. That's fair. It's my banished. Just stay in view. Okay. He can also add white veil to my hand. I don't. And they didn't give it to me. Of course. So I don't have that. Um. I take no effect damage. At the start of the damage step, if it attacks, I can destroy one card in the field. It doesn't target. No. It doesn't target. Okay. Thanks to him, I can only attack with one monster. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Thank you. So he's not actually getting to do any attacking. Okay. All right. I'll enter the battle phase. So level ten white is going to attack the. I can do this. I can attack the token, And right? then, yeah, the I attack activation. Okay, yeah. I'll attack the token. Uh-huh. And the attack's good? Y yes. Okay. Before <laughs> damage calculation, I'll use his effect, or start of the damage step. Start of the damage step? Okay. To destroy one card in the field. And it'll be, okay, it'll be this. This? Oh, this. this. Okay. Yeah. That, that has to go. And you're attacking this? Yeah, I'm attacking that. So this destroys this? Yeah. All right. And now these are both 3K, right? Uh, No, this was a uh, whatever. Or 24. This is 24, yes. Oh, okay. So I'll take the six? You'll take six. All right. Hi. <laughs> That's all I got to do. Draw. Hey. Does this keep my attack? Oh, it doesn't even keep it. Wow. Okay, it's back to 28. Actually, I, so thought, I thought he 20 kept it. 28's pretty big, bro. 28 is pretty big. I thought I get to stay at 49. Let's keep increasing my attack. Okay, you ready for this? Oh, I'm ready. All right, hang on, make sure I'm doing this right. <laughs> uh, hey, hey. Sorry. You're Gee. enjoying my armed dragon thunders. Are you? I mean, are you? You having a time? I'm, I'm having. A, I'm trying to kill you. I'm not gonna lie. I'm having a time, but I'm definitely trying to kill I you. I only have three thousand. If you can I, somehow work some magic, I mean. That's the problem. That guy just the fact that he just keeps summoning him. So like, he, I was gonna try to bounce him, but that's good. Yeah, I mean, if you can work some magic, get rid of these things. I'm I don't have any back row. Trying. Trust me, I am. I am the trying. This duel ended up more like close than I expected. Oh, for sure. Definitely I thought it was going to blow out one way or the other. So check so. me out. I'm, I'm going to banish the uh, at hard to get the other hard. It can't get itself, but it can get another banish. Okay. So. Cool. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that checks out. Yeah. Um, so then we're first going to. Fact that, 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 well, not that. That. That's a problem. Yeah, Is he a great guy? He's a little bit of trouble, but you know. Paul, this is turning to a fun game. Nothing Tenny can't handle, I'm yeah. sure. If I can't kill you, that's what you say. <laughs> this is actually turning to a pretty fun game. Um. We're here. We are. I agree. Hey, this is more interactive than a barrier statue. I'll tell you that. That's true. At least like we can play. I'm going to special because uh, I have trouble. Oh, he's hypnosis. part of a start. Okay. That's, that's the hopes. Yeah. Um, Hello, Vish. Uh, yes. Activate Heavenly uh, Dragon Circle to oh, tribute okay. to uh, add one. Mm -hmm. Okay, Trill, you can do this. I'm going to add Ashuna. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> that I'm, cool? So, I'm so used to this that I face like Sword Soul, He's this little. Uh, Circle of monsters. Okay. Actually, that doesn't get me wrong. Well, I thought it get me. <laughs> I know someone's getting bounced, so. Oh, for sure, for sure. But I don't know, probably that, I don't know if I can put enough damage on board. That's the problem. Let me see. You ready? I'm ready. So we're going to uh, special. Yep. And then we're going to normal. Also, yep. You'll hear no complaints Fair from enough. me, so. And then we're going to go into uh, boxy. Yeah. Oh, they gave you that? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, we're going to oh, then okay. go into uh, box. Okay, yeah, I should have game. We're going to go into boxy effect to spin. Both of these back to the hand. Boxy cool. effect, we're gonna target itself, and actually, it doesn't even matter. We're gonna target this in the mystery shell to spell something to the field. Oh, okay. That should ah, be enough for yeah, me. No, yeah, oh, okay, wow. cool, sweet. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Oh, that was the warm up. All right, I'm starting off with this. Arm Dragon Flash. Some of my level three monster from the deck. Here we go, you guys, so uh. So now that you guys know the line, I'm gonna kind of zip through it a little faster. Wake me up when it's over. So, activate level three's effect by discarding level five. Sure. We'll send it to the grave and summon a level five. And level five's effect activates to get a level seven or lower, or wait, level five or higher wind dragon monster from deck to hand. They're all winning except for the other level 10, right? I think. Yeah. Okay. So it's gonna search arm dragon thunder level seven. Okay. Then we're gonna use level five's effect and pitch level seven. Send it. You get a seven, it's gonna do the thing. Seven's effect activates since it was sent to get an arm dragon card from my deck to my hand. Okay. So here's where I can get a spellish trap. Level five, this actually is, oh, the one. Level, oh, oh, never mind, you sent one from, okay. Yeah, I sent the level seven, so. Okay. 
Let's see, I get Arm Dragon card. I'm gonna get Arm Dragon Light. That's the one that protects and all that. Protects stuff. once, and then I can do the recycle or uh, give it attack. Or I hate it. We will activate level seven by pitching this guy. I guess he's not coming out anytime soon. Okay. Not from hand anyway. Yeah, not. Hopefully not from hand. If it comes to that, things have really. Yeah, yeah, yeah things. Are, if it things are really in a rough patch <laughs> because uh, <laughs> Arm Dragon Lightning. Mm -hmm. I'll activate its effect. Which one? Add an Arm Dragon with an equal or lower level. From the grave mm -hmm. I'm gonna get Ghost Bell, baby. Him. I'm get level five. And if he would be destroyed, then that would protect. And it, I can right? protect it by sending this. All right. Take it away, duelist. I like to cut your deck while I'm at it. Cards hand is three. All right, I'm gonna use Lancia. Hey, <laughs> right? Oh no, wait, wait, wait. look, okay, you guys, this is where we are. It's not, it's not great. Oh, uh, stand by. Yeah. Um, Entering main. Yeah, I mean. Activate the uh, supernatural danger zone. Oh, <laughs> this stupid card. I know how much you love that card. Then we're gonna activate uh, Tiny Spear Shatana. Uh, basically, I control no effect, no spell summon it. Its other effect is if a face of none effect it will be destroyed by battle card effect. Uh, you can banish this card from your hand or graveyard, target one of those destroyed monsters, spell summon it, then I can destroy one card of my opponent, or one monster my opponent controls, not a target. Not rude. Uh, it doesn't matter, you just protect it, but I'm activating it. Yeah. Summon anything on the summon. Uh, no. Not yet? No, I guess not. I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, it's. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll use Arm Dragon Thunder level 10's effect. And discard as a target? To, yeah, discard and target. Dog. What's level five doing this into the grave? Right? When it's into the grave, it gets a level five or higher wind dragon monster from my deck to my hand. Are you attempting to pop? I'm attempting to. I'm gonna chain heavenly dragon circle. Ooh, okay. It's a tribute. Nasty. I know, right? <laughs> I finally drew Rude. it. Uh, tribute one worm monster. Add one worm monster from your deck to your hand. Or if, you, if I tribute a non effect monster, I expect something to say it. But I'm just gonna add one yeah. worm monster from my deck to my hand. Is that good? It's all good. Uh, oh. I don't know. Again, not a 10D player, so you guys will see better plays, but I'm gonna do the plays that I wanna do. Uh, um, I'm gonna get that one to you. I'm gonna get the, uh, Mapura. That's his name. Oh, yeah, you don't see him too much. Yeah, I didn't know his name. Yeah, you don't Mapura. See. It's like at least some Sword Soul decks I've seen, like, tech that or whatever, but... Um, I'm assuming you'll probably be back in there. Yeah, I am. I'm just, yeah. I'll, I'll, you know me, I'm a competitive yeah. player. I'll always present it to you. It's who I am. Yeah, just keep it right there. I'm gonna special. Okay. Because I control no, you know, fake monsters. I'm gonna... I'm about to say trivia. I'm gonna link all. Oh yeah, you. so I get my. Oh yeah. Oh sorry. Yeah, okay. Right, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I kind of forgot to. Yeah, this goes yeah, to. Yeah, I forgot sorry. to. I get this my goes little, to hand. I get a search, and my search is gonna be. Bad players are bad, y'all. Pile armed dragon. That's disrespectful. If I make it to next turn, he'll make it to the field. If I don't, he won't. <laughs> so you'll make it to next turn. I don't know how to OTK with pure uh, team, and there's no sword soul in here, you guys. Not a one. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. You know, if there was, I'd be pissed. Just give me a. But which one would you give me? Shingy is the only one that matters. Cause yeah. Tishao does nothing. What do you want my searching? I just like, thought like it'd just be funny if I just gave me like a random sword soul. Hey, just give me one more year. I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, one Chi on the extra and like one Boye in the main I'll deck. I'll take it. It's like all you need. Um, to special the monk, monk. The and the uh, supernatural danger zone will activate. Mm -hmm. Cards in hand is I have three. three. Now. It will activate to attempt to. I'm attempting the big guy. Okay, so he'll be protected this one time. And it goes in a sense of grave? Or? And this gets sent. Okay, so we're here with that. Um, activate a vessel for the dragon cycle. I can send one and add one. Ah, uh, see, so yeah, I send a worm and add a tingy. Tingy card or the tingy monster? Okay, card. like from hand? Oh, uh, no, uh, send one from deck and then I add a tingy. Oh, from okay. Yeah, send one worm yeah. from deck to grave and add a tingy uh, okay. monster to my hand. Got it. Okay. Um, all right, so then we're going to. Okay, we can do this. We're going to then, we can do that. Special? Uh, uh, the shooter. Okay. Yeah, because I control no uh, effect monsters or whatever. Got it. Um, make sure I do this right. Well, it'll be six for a change. It won't be right, it'll be six. This, I don't know, you uh, what, tax, It's tax huge though, right? 3K? Yeah, it's 4K. 4K, now. oh yeah, can you, uh, you destroy it, so yeah. So 4K. Wait, did you destroy it? You didn't destroy it, I tribute it. Oh yeah, never mind. Yeah, I, I tribute it. Yeah, it's still 3K. It's still 3K. Yeah, it's still 3K. Yeah. So we're gonna uh, banish to special. One. Uh, we're gonna banish that special one from the deck. Okay. Yeah, Shuna's the like best one, arguably. I didn't use that. Okay, we can do that. We can definitely do that. Um, I well, forgot that I have a. Uh, I'm channeling Chaz Princeton. I've got Arm Dragon on the field. It's like an episode of GX. One monster is all I have on my field. It's enough to save me. Okay, we can do that. We can do that, true. So what we'll do is, yeah, we can go here. I should have sent the uh, Mari Mari to the graveyard. Oh, I forgot that's in your deck. I forgot it was there too. Yeah. I'm thinking teeny, but anyway, I, I gotta make a play. Oh, I have a hunch of what you yeah. might be thinking. I had I had a much I better a play. Hunch. It's too late now. Uh, way too late now. I know. I right. still see the where it ends. <laughs> it still ends with him off the field. So. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. We're getting rid of him for sure. I know. Yeah. I'm, yeah. That that Mari Mari play would have been much better. I, I'm doing this completely wrong. I'm pretty sure. 
Uh, we're going to bounce there right now. We're, we're, okay, so we shoot a... Yeah, okay. Control, yeah. We're going to get, get that out of the way. Boing. Um, then we're going to activate this effect. Uh, yeah, Shaman to pitch off. Tyrant form. You pretty much attribute an uh, effect monster to a special, a uh, non-effect from the grave. Basically. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. The same version of type and attribute. Okay, you're linking. Mm -hmm. Link, sorry, link three. Um, going to this one. Okay. Uh... I have reason, I have reason. Okay. Um, effect, vanish to add back to him. Got it. Because I never... Oh, right, you, no. You... Oh, no, I specially, wait, wait, did, did I special this from... No, I special this from hand, so... Yeah, you yeah. special it from uh, hand. And... My plates are bad, my, my, my lines are bad. I, I'm, I'm trying to do more than I, I, I should be. That's what the problem is. Anyway, sorry, Paul. Well, no, you're all right. We're going to, I guess, add this one back, because I hadn't special this from hand yet. Uh, we'll special this one. Uh, cause I control non effect monsters. Basically. Okay, special Ashuna. Yeah. Got it. I, I misplayed, but it's okay. But anyway, um, we'll be we'll be better next time. Hey, it's damage. It is. Moving towards battle. Uh, a thousand. Sixteen. Three K. I'm oh, sorry. Sixteen. And then three K. Three K. Oh, jet. <laughs> Three thousand. Okay. Main phase two. Oh yeah, that's the other yeah. guy. <laughs> oh, I don't want to hear it, sir. Don't you do me uh, like that. The special summon Tendi Spirit uh Saucer 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 Yeah, Saucer Ra. Saucer Ra. I think it's Saucer Ra. Yes, yeah. I, I'm gonna say Saucer Ra. Uh in phase in turn. Draw will activate pile armed dragon's effect. By sending a wind dragon or other ones, I'm going to drag a higher monster from my hand of grave. The card that goes to my grave will be a armed dragon level five. You drew it, you. Yeah, so, they include them in here, so. Uh, that is fine. All right, say hello to pile armed dragon. All right, you have three cards in hand still. I have three cards okay. in hand. Next, okay, I'm going to activate. Pile armed dragon's effect. What's it do? By sending one from hand or deck to grave, I can target a monster, but it's gonna be him, and he'll get oh, attacked. Oh, the attack part. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I'm sending arm dragon level seven. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna give him 2100. So we get 49. 49 again. Level seven's effect activates since it was sent to the grave. I can add an arm dragon card from my deck to my hand. Okay. I'm gonna get armed dragon lightning to my hand. I'm not gonna get him. So that's mm. what I'm searching. I don't like that. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know if this is like the right. Oh, it's the right call, but it's a call. Uh, I'll, I'll be back in here almost definitely. All right, I get lightning to my hand. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna activate Arm Dragon Lightning and push it to the three in hand, right? Three in yeah, hand. Yeah, three in hand. What you up to, Paul? What you up to? I mean, you know, I'm just trying my best in a really trying time. I'm using this. Add an arm dragon monster from my grave with a equal or less level to this thing. And then you target. So it's gonna be a level three. Arm dragon level three to my hand. Sure. That card's crazy. Alright, so I can not attack Sahasara, correct? You cannot attack it, that is correct. I only attack Monk. And Monk does. <laughs> yeah. I know he's got like the protections of other things. He's got the divine hand of God around him right now. Hopefully, hopefully. All right, well, we're gonna enter battle. Uh, I mean, <laughs> enter, yeah, enter battle. She, uh, activating a, a right <laughs> effect to get a token. Yeah, okay. I mean, why Why not? Yeah. Um, it's 4,900 attack. Yeah, I know. Well, no, it's, it's original or current. I mean, uh, probably a um, current attack. Original. Original? Oh, Original. Yeah. I know, so 28. That I'm, helped I'm, a little. I only got 2,400, so I'm, I don't know if I'll live next turn anyway. Hey. All I right. like the effect, though. Of, yeah, why yeah. would I not? We're going to, like, we got to target the guy to try to pop it. Okay. You're not going to protect it? You know? Oh, yeah. This will that protect one. us one. Look. But I need, yeah, okay, yeah, this will. He, he, he'll his, live. his name is Armed Dragon, right? Yeah, I think. He's an Armed Dragon monster. Yeah, yeah it's just, it just needs to be an Armed Dragon monster. So, yeah, okay. So he can get the protection. So, yeah, I'll use Lightning to protect him. Okay. It's a little battle though, but that's why I want to make sure you want to do that. Yeah, though. yeah. I'll enter battle. So. I'll hack the token. And you're forty nine. Forty nine. Uh, I will take that. Okay. So twenty eight, forty nine. I take the twenty one, so, yeah, right? Yeah, the twenty one. Okay. 
We're gonna main phase two, I guess. Okay. <laughs> and we'll normal summon Arm Dragon Thunder level seven, sure. level three. Uh, they have many levels, you but this one, this one is level, level three. three. I'll use its effect. Okay. Discarding. Like hell, I'm gonna get to use this thing. I'll oh, discard yeah. Arm Dragon, the Armored Dragon. I don't remember this one. Yeah, it doesn't. It's it's a weird one. It doesn't really fit. It's like their uh, Paladin of White Dragon, if you remember those. Okay. Oh, those so it's the levels. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, these so it does two. nothing for a graveyard. Yeah, that's Man. fine, though. It does nothing for a graveyard. Crazy. All right, I'm going to send a special. It is not. That's Sorry, Larry. Good. We don't have barrier statues like right. this. So we can't lock each other up. We're actually hand. interacting. He wouldn't understand. He wouldn't know. All right, so he, would, so he wouldn't understand. All right, so I'm getting... Yeah. Level this. I got you. I'm just going to be graveyard. What I him. <laughs> it specials it. It's game oh, two. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. probably losing, so you'll be you'll be uh, playing soon. Don't you worry about it. You still got a lot of monsters left. Yeah, I'm getting him. Sure. I'm gonna use his effect. Um, oh, you, sorry. Yeah, whoops. Well, he's he's on the field. Well, this will probably just be the end. But I'm gonna go out with glory. You say that, I yeah. use level five's effect. Sure. This deck has no follow up. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, but I just realized I won't have a card in my hand to use with my level 10 anyway, so. Oh, I see what you mean. That kind of sucks, but. But you know, sometimes you just do the best you can summoning regular level 7, because I don't have any more of the other level 7. I think. I think I've used them all. Yeah, I think I've used them all. I'll say. One, two, three. Yep. Yep, so he's here now. I summon regular armed dragon. Draw a monster point control with attack less than or equal to that sent monster's attack. Ooh. Yeah, well. Oh, wait, that's my deck. <laughs> okay, so I summon armed dragon level seven to so the field. So far, so good. All right. I will activate its effect. Wow. I'm pitching level 10 to destroy all cards with 3,000 or less attack on your field. It doesn't matter, that's the last of my plays. All right, your move. Wait, no. Uh, I, oh, I, yeah, I, oh, yeah, you have the thing in the grave. Oh, uh, yeah, um, the effect of, where is it? Mm, target one goes to a monster, some goes to a monster. So we are going to use uh, this here effect. Is it banish itself? Yeah. To banish and target the monk, mm -hmm. to bring the monk back, and then we're going to destroy. It hardly matters, they don't have effects. True. And they have the exact same stats. That's uh, true. Well, but let's get rid of the one that uh, can pop. Just because I just because I can't kill yeah, just you. Just in case. All right, just because yeah. I can't kill you. All right, your move. Yay. Oh, why am I doing over there? This is, that's a fun thing about you. Yeah, how am I digging up over there? <laughs> uh, draw for turn. Thank you. All right, do uh, your worst. I'm, I'm do a list. Not freaking try. I'm about to say something. Uh, um, okay, you already did. I forgot I had this engraved. Uh, we're gonna banish adding. Uh, if I control a non effect. I can add one tiny card for my deck plan. Got it. Yeah. Heavenly Dragon Circle. Okay. Uh, we, we'll make it easy, Paul. We'll yeah, no, yeah. Make it painless, please. <laughs> um, it, the Synchro Summoning. Yeah. yeah. I don't see any. All right. Boom. <laughs> well, it was fun. Hey, listen. <laughs> I got was, to use some Dragon. That was actually really good. I got to use some Dragon. That was really... I'm not unhappy. It's, it's cool. First, I'll start off by activating Starry Night Ceremony. What's it do? Main phase, reveal one light fairy monster, uh, add one level seven dragon, put the one, Did the fairy reveal? I revealed in the bottom. In the bottom, okay. Then it has another thing too. I would say a lot of words on it. Uh, Pony activates a card in effect, you can spend one light level seven. One level seven light from your hand. Okay, that's important. Uh, you're good, that's fine. So I'm just, fine. reveal starry night seal. Okay. Yeah, starry night, starry dragon. So normal summon starry night Rael. What'd it do? Uh, search spell a trap. Okay. Get Starry Night Blast. Sure. I'm gonna set one. Can you shovel? Do it. Mm -hmm. You good. You want, I mean. Activate the effect of Starry Night Seal. What do you do? Um, this cards my hand. Return one Starry Night Monster or one level seven dragon to the hand. Special summon it. So we've got a bounce pop. We've got a, no we got, yeah. It, it's a special one for hand, right? The spell card is special to level seven for hand. Mm -hmm. So that's, okay, special as that pops. And then that negates to bounce it back. All right, draw for turn. Stand by. Entering main. Activate. Ten evil shooter. Ten spear of a shooter. I have to control the non-effect monster to bounce. You just activating the special summon? Yeah, yeah, but they, but they activate, so I have to reveal. Go ahead. All right, so I'm going to special. Anything in resolution? Good so far. I'm going to link one. And to monk of the ten. I'm going to banish the monk of the, 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 the mm -hmm. shooter. 
It lets me target one card in the field and bounce it back to you. Targeting. Um, so that's done. That does nothing right now. True, but it's engraved. You can banish it to especially the dragon. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, there's uh, three choices. I mean, that's the problem, but they're all good choices. Like, each one, anyone that doesn't die is a problem. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. It's your turn to hand? Return to hand. You good so mm -hmm. far? Okay. I know that's it with a card effect at this, right? Mm hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure. Control the non effect monster, we're gonna uh, activate the special. Mm -hmm. On well, activation, our chain starts. No, it's, it's, a, it's a if so, get a new chain. Okay, so, that's fine. Right, so, so get a special, get yeah. a new chain. So now I'll activate Star Knight Ceremony. Mm -hmm. It's for summoning Star Knight Dragon. Sure. Activating effect. Thing is, do you have two Link Ones? Did they give you two Link Ones? Yeah, I'll go ahead and do the Link One. Pop the Link One? Yeah. If you, uh, does yeah. it target? Yes. This is just a destroy. Mm. Try one card and feel destroyed. Yeah. Thinking in response. Uh, banish from hand to negate and destroy. Mm -hmm. No, no. Bad plays are bad. Bad plays are bad. Uh, that's not even a big trail. Do you even trust that though? Not, not really. We do not. We don't. We don't. We don't. So we'll go. Team uh, Spirit and Horror. I'm going to my normal summon. Mm -hmm. Anchor on to an eight. Foxia. Foxia effect to shuffle these back into the deck. Effect of this to banish the special one from the deck. Mm -hmm. Three in hand, but right. Mm -hmm. okay. First mine, first mine, first mine. To get that one. Should we go back in or not? Link two. Link two, the Shaman of the Tingle. Add back to hand. Mm -hmm. Good effect to discard and bring some back. Let's yeah. go on to that one. Moving towards battle. Mm -hmm. Uh, 3,000. Yeah, 23. 53. Main phase two. Fair effect. Lower itself up. Oh no, I can't. Have your level four lower. I'm pretty sure. Yep, one level four lower monster. Oh, just one level four monster. Great, but it's short. card in the field. I was thinking. Yeah. So, we'll, it, so there's no point in doing it. We'll just to go into Teeny Spear Sahasra. Tell to move towards end phase. Mm -hmm. uh, in turn. Very simple. If I control a token, you can't. A non effect monster, you can't target an effect or effects or attacks. And I can just it's a quick fix special one. All right. Draw for turn. Sure. Stand by main. Sure. Normal summon Star Knight Rail. All right. That's when it starts to spell the traps. Mm -hmm. uh, that is fine. Every so Star Knight Ceremony. That's the same one from last time? Yes. Uh, so special mm -hmm. one. Do the whole pop thing. Activate Star Knight Ceremony. Uh, thinking in response. Thinking in the response. We're going to go ahead and change the effect to get the token. Mm -hmm. All right. So. So activate. Mm -hmm. oh, you don't get the special draft right here. A reveal. Oh, to like, bounce back? Or what's it do? To, to search. Who does No, it? during the main phase, I can reveal one light in my oh, hand. Oh, the swap back. Yes. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I think I, think I read that wrong. Mm -hmm. I messed up, so. What's the token at? 1800, it's uh, equal to your monster's attack. Oh, shit. Yeah, small. Move towards battle. Mm hmm So what's that? Sure. That good? Yeah. Okay. Main phase two. Mm hmm Activate the effect of Rael. The special one? Yes. Wow, nice. Uh, yes, that's that's yeah, that's the thing. So. And pop this. Yes. Yep. I should have went from other play. I, <laughs> it's okay. I'm bad. I had to, I had to read it to us like that. Oh, yeah. Does just say starry monster. Yeah. I know. Um, that was a bad misplay. Okay. Setting two. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Draw for turn. Oh gosh, what in the world? You about to turn this? You about you about to turn this game around, Larry? I don't know. You about to turn this game around? Uh, we're going to. Um, it don't matter. Normal summon, mystery shell dragon. Yeah. Good so far? Okay, yeah, they can't do that. Um, banish to attempt a special from the deck. Oh, chain. Oh, it has to be after, doesn't it? If it, uh, which, 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 yeah, chain. if, so yeah, it'll be after. Go ahead. Force it out of them, then. Summon of a shooter. What is the shooter doing? I can banish it uh, to bounce a card. Okay. Um, I'll chain. 
the mm -hmm. Star Night Ceremony. It's a special? Yeah. Okay. You had one in hand? Yeah. Star nice. Night Dragon. Okay. Um, and then Star Night Dragon will, yeah, uh, pop the mystery shell. I'm targeting the mystery shell? Yes. Okay. Well, then we're going to... Oh, sorry, I'm going to banish the teeny spirit Mapura. Mapura. And I'm going to chain Star Night Blast. Okay, and you activate it uh, to, to bounce, it bounces it to negate? Yes. Okay. Um, it bounce for cost? Uh, when your opponent activates return one, several to the hand, yes, negate that effect. Okay. So it'll pop this one. All right. Uh, when a non-effect monster is destroyed, I can banish to uh, to target that monster. Spare something to pop one card. Pop one monster you control. So activating this. Yes. Targeting the. Yeah. It targets that. I'll change. You had two of them. Yes. And they're not once per turn. It's not. Yes, you can. You don't let it them destroy nice Oh yes. my god. Yes, that's what I thought. That's <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, so, than I mm -hmm. so, uh, so this gets uh, brought back, and I'm gonna blow this one up. And it doesn't target, so it's all, and it's all mm -hmm. one effect. Thank you, goodness. Oh, gosh. Uh, attempt to move towards battle. Yeah. Not even enough. Um, How's it not enough? You're 27, right? This is only... Oh, it's only 2,000. So, yeah, 35. Sorry. I, I can't count. Oh, gosh. No, oh, gosh, that was sweaty. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. That was so... Oh, gosh, that was so bad. Uh, Larry, Larry brought that back. Boy, you... Larry, yeah, <laughs> he brought that back and I was scared like a mother. Yeah. Um, normal summon, mm -hmm. mystery shell dragon, you good? White elephant gift to send it to draw two cards. That was probably a horrible play, but the greed of Yu-Gi-Oh players. Special, activate special. It's probably a waste, but I'm gonna do it now. Trigger it off just to add one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To add, I'm gonna trigger it off Shatana to add Mapura. Mm -hmm. He's gonna nib me, that's what he's gonna do, he's gonna nib me, Paul. Special. Activate special. Yeah, that makes sense. To go into this one. Uh, effect, discard, and special one. So discard this. Make sure I'm going through this correctly. Now we're going to. Then it's a special from the deck. I don't think any, any deck has hand traps. Not really. Wait, I have to ask. I, just, <laughs> I have to ask. Um, Teeny Spear at heart. So far, so good. So make sure you follow me, that's all. Yeah, it's a competitive player, I mean, you just got to deal with it. I don't care, you just got to deal with it. Uh, special Berserker of the Teeny. Literally, whoever's going first can just kind of like do whatever. Mm -hmm. get free reign. I'll banish it horror to add back a Shuna. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna activate uh, flawless per perfection of the tenue. Um All non effect monsters on the field are unaffected by monster effects. Once per turn, your opponent special summons an effect monster while I control the face down or non effect monster. I can draw two cards. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to we're gonna end there. All right, draw turn. Mm -hmm. Stand by main. Okay. Where the fuck were you? I will activate Starry Night Bellfire. What's they do? Add one, I can only do this against you. Add one Starry Night Monster or one level seven Dragon Monster, Light Dragon from my deck to my hand. Then if you control no monsters and your opponent controls a Dark Monster, I can special summon a level seven Dragon from my hand. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> of course you can. I have two Darks on the field. Yeah. Oh, the one time I have a Dark Monster. That. Because nobody plays Dark Monster, I have two on the field, go figure. So I will search Rael. So you search in, oh, it's both? Yes, is I search, and then if you control and I don't, then I can't. Oh, special, okay, special on one from your hand, okay. So you add anything, but you can special from the Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Are you choosing a special? Yes. He always draw these things. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> special summoning Star and Night Star Dragon. That's fine. And because, why not target the field spell? That's the only thing I can. It is true. Normal summon Starry Night Rail. That's the spell the trap searcher? Yes. Okay. It's Starry Night's kind. Can I, is that the same one or is that new? It's a field spell. I don't oh, think yeah. I played against you. Go ahead. Okay, it's a field spell. You haven't played any fields. During your main phase, you can normal summon one Starry Night monster or one level seven in addition to your normal. Okay. During your turn, if a face of level seven light, you control returns to hand, draw a card. Okay. Can I? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to show my battle with a dark monster or by a dark monster's effects. That's crazy. Okay, yeah, that's pretty crazy. 
That is uh, pretty crazy. <laughs> help! <laughs> help me, somebody. Cannot be destroyed by battle or destroyed by a dark. Okay. Uh, or by <laughs> Oh, gosh. Help! <laughs> Why is this the finals? Oh my! Mm. Why did Alec not do the Alec? And oh, I'll I activate Star Night Sky. Sure. I will normal summon Star Night. So additional okay. normal summon. Yes. Okay. Okay. What do, does it do anything on summon? No, on summon though. No. What does it do? Uh, quick effect. Um, Target one life once you control tribute it, and if you do set one. Okay, spell Traveler from your deck. Special level seven control turns the handyman's card in your graveyard. You can spell summon this card. Okay. Cool. So. So just tributes any light. Mm-hmm. Any light monster, okay. Tribute Rael. Okay. And Rael's the one that's special from Grave. Yes. Okay. I can banish him in a special. If you control no monsters or just in general? Banish a card from Grave and target one star at night monster in your graveyard. Oh, wait, it's not a star at night. It's a, it's it's a star at night. There's a K. Star at night, star at night. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you cannot. <laughs> I guess. That the. the Negate? Yeah. Okay. Dropping cards and cheating. Move towards battle, I guess. Okay. Uh, Starry Dragon will attack Berserker. And attack is fine. And then activate an effect. So it just banishes to end phase, right? Yep. And you get a second attack mm -hmm. to do things with. Um, I can't stop it. It doesn't. So it's banished? Yes. Okay. So I get a second attack, 25 at the two. Mm -hmm. I take five. Uh, we're in damage step. Effect of Shathana to banish mm -hmm. itself, to target the uh, Shell Dragon and Spell Summon, and then pop a card in the field. Mm -hmm. So this is all the damage step. We're going to bring out Shell Dragon here, and we are going to, we gotta, we're got we going to pop here. Just because uh, the trap card is already set. Main phase two. Mm -hmm. Set one. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. In phase, this comes back. It don't matter where it points, it points sideways. Right. Draw for turn. Uh, standby. Entering main. Mm -hmm. First, we're going to. Oh, oh, no, no, no. We're not. We are not. We're going to pause for a second. Activate to special. Yeah. Anything on summit? Not enough. Not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. Anyway. Well, I don't have anything like a must reborn. Um, banish from hand to target the bounce back to hand. I'm sorry, I'm using the shooter. <laughs> I'm gonna banish Team Spirit and shooter from my hand since I control the effect monster to mm. bounce that one. Okay. Okay. I can't kill you, Larry. I cannot kill you. I know, right? Larry's I can't. Like, okay. No, you know, Larry wants it to be over. <laughs> Larry wants it to be over. Um, point of attack. Moving towards battle. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so then the 3,000 over the 400. So we're going to activate effect. Sure. Target itself. Mm -hmm. Since he knows he can't die, he can use his effect. <laughs> I can't kill with this stupid deck. There's not enough. In the, Paul, the extra deck is very lacking. Uh, the tribute to set. Orbit, Orbital is a quick effect to tribute itself mm -hmm. to set a, a spell of trap. Okay, so then I redirect 3,000 directly. Um, 2,000. You have three in hand? Yeah. All right. Try to see. Try 2,000. Mm -hmm. And then 1,600? Yep. All right. Uh, main phase two. I'm going to banish Heavenly Dragon Circle from the graveyard. Mm -hmm. uh, if you control the face up, non effect monster, you can banish this card. Add one 10 card from your deck to your hand. Ah. Mm. Please be a 10 card. It's not a Tingy card. Why is it not a Tingy? Why is Vessel for the Dragon Circle not a Tingy card? Yeah, they made sure they call those things different. Yeah, they, they definitely did that. Um, but we will continue to make plays. I'm going to add Tingy Spirit at Horror mm -hmm. from the deck to the hand. Okay. Yeah, you could. I'm going to normal summon it. Mm -hmm. Anything in response? To bring out Boxia, uh, Brightness of the Yang Zing. Uh, I'm going to use the effect. I use two, so I'm going to shuffle these back into the deck. Mm -hmm. 
the basis effect is like uh, on, on summon, uh, I can target cards each of the number of different type uh, attribute, different attributes of the worms and shuffle them back to the deck. So I use two. I'm going to shuffle in two. Okay, I'm probably not through. Probably not through. Then we are going to uh, use Chinese Spirit of Shonen's Banish effect to special mm -hmm. one from the deck. Mm -hmm. yeah. Effect to blow itself up and most and bring this one back. Mm -hmm. So okay, we're fine, Trill. We're fine. <laughs> now we are. So level four lower monster in your graveyard? Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm cheating. Thank you for that. <laughs> so we're not fine. Read your cards, people. Is it any level four? Yeah. All right, so that's going to be the case, and we need to do end. End. We're not going to waste time like that. End. Going to draw for turn? Sure. Activate the effect of Starry Night Rael. To do what? I'm banishing it, targeting one star and that monster in my graveyard to special summon. Okay. I'm gonna target Orbital. Yes. Next, I'm gonna activate the effect of Orbital, targeting accept tribute to set a spell or trap. Okay. Couldn't stop it. There's another thing, but I know what I could've done. Uh, okay. Bellfire. Sure. You'd, you'd go ahead, like, again. <laughs> activate Bellfire. Sure. Hey, what's up? It's 616, shawty bad. We really speak. Yeah, yeah, Starry Night, Starry Dragon. All right. Yeah, we'll special summon Starry Night, Starry Dragon. Mm-hmm. Uh, I use this effect to target Boxia. Yeah. Pop the Boxia. Ah. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> my bad. So we're gonna set one, set two, set three. Um, you just said three cards. They can't be that bad. Go ahead. <laughs> you don't want to attack? You're rude. Draw. Uh, stand by. And remain. Mm -hmm. um, activate Teeny Spirit at horror. It does target to banish, right? Yeah, to, tar to, uh, to banish yourself mm -hmm. to target with a shooter. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what? Oh, no. I think what I want. I'm going to activate the shooter's effect mm -hmm. to target the dragon and bounce it back to your hand. Really? Why not? Oh, okay. Helped you, helped you, right? I don't know. <laughs> I helped you, I helped you. Mm -hmm. uh, moving towards battle. I, I, I thought you would have targeted one of the back rows. Why? The three randoms. MST is bad. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I have a 33% chance of hitting anything good. Mm -hmm. Your deck's going to do a thing anyway. Um, I ain't scared. I got 35 the right points. Um, <laughs> moving towards battle. Battle. Uh, 3K. Like, we're here. Good mid percent, baby. Activating Starry Nightfall now. What's it do? When an opponent's monster declares an attack, mm -hmm. send this card from a hand or face of the field to the graveyard. It's supposed to summon one level seven light dragon monster from my hand. How would I have known you had that? Let's be know. honest. How would I have known you had that? But it's fine. But how would I have known you had that? Special summon. Sure. Okay, Not using the fact? No. Okay. Uh, continuing through? Yep. Can be destroyed by dark monsters. Oh, you're right. It cannot. You are right about that. That's cool. I like that. Mm. Okay. Well, then. Main phase two. Because, I mean, I'm not getting good at all, too. Play around in perm. Set one. Mm -hmm. uh, so, it wouldn't matter anyway. It could be true about this. So, yeah, it wouldn't matter anyway. Okay, true. Um, in phase? In turn. <laughs> in phase. Yeah, in phase is good. Anything on in phase? I don't know. That's why. That's why. That's why I went back. I walked it back. Short by dark monster effect or battle with dark monster. No, we're good. Okay, in turn. It's a draw for turn. Sure. I'm gonna activate the effect of Starry Night Flamel. What's the do? second one? Banish it from grave. Target a starry, uh, the dragon thing from field. Return it to hand. Oh, separate. Okay, you can win from grave. Or you can grave draw return to hand. Okay, what are you targeting? This one. Uh, thinking. Oh, sorry. Banish for cost. Yes, and that will let me draw a card. That is fine. Turn the hand. So fix Starry Night Sky to draw one. Sure. Normal summon Starry Night Rael. Search a spell or trap. Two in hand, right? Yeah, we're gonna fix the unrival tingy. If I control the non effect monster, I'm just gonna negate that. Mm -hmm. That's all it does, just negate it. Negates it. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're good. It's counter trap, so it gets past your trap. That was the whole hope. Mm, move towards battle. Mm -hmm. Attack the uh, the green one. All right, I'll take a thousand. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna activate vessel for the dragon cycle. Oh yeah, tell me that. 
I'll tell you what it does. Yeah. So, I'll, I'll send one worm from my deck to the graveyard. Then, if I control the face up non effect monster, I can add from my deck to my hand one team monster with a different name. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's keep that there. Okay. I'm going to send a Shuna, Team Spirit of Shuna. I'm going to add a Team Spirit of Shuna. Oh, gosh. Attempt to move towards battle. Mm hmm. Uh, Wait. Hmm? Okay. And still the main phase. Still the main phase. Still the main phase. Um, before we exit main phase, activate okay. the effect of Starry Night Arrival. What's that do? Uh, I can pick one, target a either special summon a level seven dragon from hand, or pick one up from field. Okay, are you activating the effect? Is that the call? I'm activating the effect. That is fine. Special summoning Starry Night Dragon. That is also fine. Other shooter. Yeah, I can just banish it and bounce it back in. I can't, you can't be destroyed, but you can be affected. So, well, you might have a. You know what? Targeting, gonna target Berserker Team. Um, activate Mapura by banishing it to negate the target and destroy that card. Well, just chain the thing. That's one that negates? Yes. And, okay, so then this will be destroyed? Yep, and go ahead and do the Shimano. Yeah, I'm gonna do the thing, <laughs> do the thing. Uh, by banishing this Shathana to special summon mm -hmm. his back, and then it'll pop that. And um, we're good so far. It's the once per turn. At that part, I know. Attempt to move. Let me make sure. Attempt that to was, move. Oh, man, too greedy. I should have just, just walled up. Probably. But you, had, but you, you would have had to know, you had to know something, didn't you? Or you had to know something now, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Did you have to know something? Or did it matter? What did I get? I mean, I would have got something else. It would have been good. Gotcha. Uh, moving towards battle. Mm -hmm. With the Berserk of the team, I'm going to attack your Starry Knight Rael. And I'm going to attack Declaration. Is it, let me see. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're going to banish Nahata from the grave to give uh, to make your monster lose 1,500 attack. So 3,000 yeah. to 300, mm -hmm. you'll take 27. And that'll be good. That's it. Got done. All right, guys. So that was our house tournament that I lost in the first round. And yay, I had fun. I got to summon Arm Dragon level ten. It was a very fun tournament, actually. The winner is Trell. He gets to retain. I get to keep the my title, y'all. They try title to take belt it. thing. I Her. feel like he only wins when it's on the line. I do. Yeah. <laughs> I do. What do you guys think of your decks? You and a fun. Eh, I like Star Knight. I, I like Star Knight too, actually. Um, I think yeah, my mine did well. I like your deck, actually. I like yeah, my deck's fun. I got to do arm drag. I want to redo. You know, yeah, you picked your you deck. Got stacks, I want to redo. Sucks. You did get very. Yes. So on all, it was a pretty fun challenge. If you guys ever want to, the, I would say, um, pick up eBay decks. Oh, They're not. A, the, no, whatever. Nope. This was the first eBay deck challenge that was good. I think it's the first one that were there were actual functional like decks. functioning decks. You, yeah. you gotta, you gotta, you gotta show who you bought it from. Bob. So. Yeah, yeah um, they, they, someone, they, shout they, out to who I bought whatever. it from. It goes to show. He, Next time, Shaq make sure. made a free throw. He made he quite went, a few action in playoffs. Whatever, a few, a few. He made it when the guy, when the game's on the line. Make two, like, make 10 out of 5,000, I mean. As long as the 10 are the ones that matter. That's what I'm saying, he made it, he made it when the game mattered. A, a, also. A wrong clock is right twice a day. That's right. Anyway, you guys, hope y'all enjoyed. As always, like, share, subscribe. Yeah, comment. let us know any other cool challenges that we can do. And let these people know they can never take my belt. Ever. Cool. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. That's turn.